Outside of Goldfield, Nevada, and we are at the Florence Mines to take a tour with the Florence Mine Company tours. Florence Mines were one of the great Goldfield mines, producing more than $6.8 million in gold by 1910. Today, the mines are family owned, and if you want to schedule a tour, you'll be guided by this guy. His name is James, and he's been giving tours since he was only nine years old. When you arrive, You'll meet in the center of the property and be given a little bit of history about the mines before heading to your second location. The next stop that we made is in Rustler number two. This is built somewhere between 1906 and 1907. It is amazing. I'm gonna do a small circle, but there's a secret element in this room that I don't get to show you, but you'll get to see once you come here on your own. So check out all of the things they have here. He and his dad restored this entire space on their own. They restored this place by hand. I will give you like a sliver sneak peek. You see that? You see that room in there? That is a secret bonus room you can only see if you come here yourself. This is the hoist house. This mechanism controlled the raising and lowering of men and items in and out of the mine. What you're seeing here are all original items found either in the Florence mine or Goldfield itself. And that, what you see just outside of the window, is the Rustler 2 mine itself. That's where we're going next. While we were walking back from the Rustler to Mines, I asked James if he thought if the mines were haunted or if any of the area of the property was haunted. And he told me that a lot of paranormal investigation groups had come there already and they've always found something. So he said, with all of those groups coming in claiming to find something, it's probably something to be seen, to be believed, but he is not gonna discount the possibility. Our next stop is the mill. The other places we went to already uh, that was built between 1906 and 1907, this mill was built in 1908. Did you hear that? Perfect. It's like the perfect creepy sound. So have you ever seen those like, little tumblers that you get when you want to tumble like tiny rocks you find and it smooths them out? Think of that on like a 1000% scale and then you get these. Oh my god, this is so heavy. It's heavier than you think it's Yes, it's way heavier than that's, you think it's going to be. That's what I was trying to do with the sound thing. Yeah, it's way heavier than you think it's going to be. So you get pieces like this and then switch these. Once it's in the tumbler for a while, it starts to roll down to pieces like this. And then we've got these tiny little guys. Uh, and then it's going to roll down into a much more manageable piece so they can actually get down into what's valuable and what's just trash. The machinery that you're seeing behind me was the bubbler. This used mercury and cyanide to chemically separate gold from the rest of the material. I know this looks cool already. You don't even know the half of it. There is a view here that is exclusively for in-person visitors to this tour. So trust me, you know I've been a lot of places. We've gone all over the world together. We've seen a lot of cool things. This view, this is not something you wanna miss. So I'm gonna put the link in the description to book a tour of your own here so you can see this view because it's truly incredible. The next thing that we're gonna see on this tour, this is the original home on the property. This home is the first wood framed home that was built uh, in this area. <laughs> and it originally was built in Goldfield. So that's the town that's down the hill. And then they brought the whole thing up. 
they built the foundation, they did the whole thing here, and they trucked it up and rebuilt it up here. And it's, it's been here for two weeks. Last stop on our tour is the Hoist House. This is super cool. This gives us a view of the biggest and most complicated parts of the mine. We're not allowed to film in there, but this is another part where I would highly recommend when you come here, come check it out because it is super cool. And um, it just gives you a glimpse into the history of like a wild west and a mining culture that you just can't, you can't get through this video anyway. So come and see it. This was our tour of the Florence Mine Company. This was so cool. So again, if you have the opportunity at all to come and see this place, please do. I'm gonna put the information to schedule a tour in the description. And as always, I'll see you next time.